Okay, so right now I am extremely near the airport, uh, right there, I'm about to fly right over the airport, uh, I fly away from the airport, turn around and come back for a landing. Now I've decided to do an automatic landing to show the full features of the Alpha 9, uh, version 2. And I'm also, and you know, I expect that you know how to do a ver uh, visual landing, that's simply turn, hit that button, turn off the autopilot and fly visually. And so, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do an automatic landing, even though the weather is beautiful. A couple things in the MCDU. I want to check again that the preference page is set for the approach. It is. And once we're on final, we can hit the activate approach phase. Uh, uh, weather is important. So I'm going to select the weather, request meter. The weather 360, it's nice. The QNH is 10121. So I'm going to select the QNH now. Click the QNH, I'm going to left click this button. And I'm going to change the rotary. I'm going to look at my primary flight display. And there we go, it's now set to two, uh, 1012. Now, what I want to do is hit the ILS button on the bottom left of the FCU which will turn on these eyeless indicators on my PFD. So I'm going to be monitoring the speed, making sure that, uh, and the altitude, making sure that I'm not stalling, and making sure that, I'm, uh, that I reach 2,000 feet to be able to intercept the glide slope. So I'm going to go to my MCDU, I'm going to go to the preference page, and I'm going to hit activate approach phase right here, right there, and then hit left, activate, it asks me to confirm it. I'm going to confirm, and when I go to my progress, and it, oh, it opens this page, I've already set all the settings, and when I go to my progress, it, it, you can see that it's changed it to approach mode. That's all I need to do for the MCU, pretty much, for the rest uh, of the flight, really. So, I'm now going to uh, hit the approach button. So, I'm going to hit approach. And what happens is that glide slope and localizer turn on blue, means that they're uh, armed but they're not activated yet on my uh, FC, uh, on my um, flight mode enunciator. It basically means it's still flying altitude, it's still flying nav until it's captured the the, uh, the two the glide slope and localizer. Category two is active on the approach, and my decision height is set right here 166. So I'm flying a little slow now, so just increasing my speed, and I'm gonna have flaps one. Laps one. So now I'm going to slow down the speed to 180. Localizer alive. So the localizer is now alive, and any moment it should switch to, to localizer. I'm actually going to slow down my speed even more to 160. And then we see localizer is now green and active, and a little box is drawn around it to grab your attention. Um, so I'm going to put down the flaps even further. I'm going to put, put the gear down. The gear goes down right now. I'm going to put my flaps 3. Flaps 3. Gear down. Speed's now really low. And as you see, the autopilot starts speeding it up to get that running. Glad slope's still not active. But any moment now, it should be activated. So my gears, my gears down and my flaps are set to 3. And just as nice information, on my uh, airspeed strip, uh, there's a little, two purple little lines showing what the uh, maximum speed will be, these little red lines, when you put your next flaps position. And so for flaps 4, flaps folds can be 180 knots max speed. And right now, so you just want to, you never want to extend your flaps if you're too fast, because it's going to break the, 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 the plane.
slow down to about approach speed and let's see it should capture the glide slope and there we go glide slope is now captured and it's shown on the flight mode enunciator in green and so I've whoops sorry about that and I've now slowed down my speed to 145 and finally I'm gonna hit some uh, flaps to full so that um, even though with a low speed I have a large wing surface area to my computer so the aircraft will actually be, uh, have enough lift to stay in here I'm now going to set my altitude to missed approach altitude which is 5000 feet I believe and right now with flaps full, gear down, speed brakes armed and auto brakes set to the appropriate position, for me that's medium I don't really have to do anything I'm going to switch over to ILS mode in the navigation display and we can see that I'm pretty much aligning right now now if anything happens, remember you can always just grab the joystick, go full power the autopilot on vast MC will automatically disconnect I believe above 15% joystick input and uh, you can do the, the approach manual obviously me myself I would, I would I like to fly manual because you know why would the autopilot get to have all the fun but okay that's your opinion So there's the airport, and it's and the white boxes indicate the glide slope path, and it's perfectly in the glide slope path. And we can see the, the airport on the right hand side. Now at this this point at 500 feet you can either turn off turn off the autopilot and fly yourself. But so right now it's set to land on my flight mode enunciator. It selects land. It sees it's a little too high, so it's correcting by putting the nose down. I'm putting my hands on my joystick and my throttle in case something happens. 100 above. 200 feet. Minimums are set, so I'm continuing the landing. 100, Checked. 50, 40, 40, 30, 20, so it's now going on flare on the on the flight mode enunciator. I've just selected reversers. And at this moment I'm it's like rollout on the flight mode enunciator. And nose is now on the ground. Knots. And just just so you know, right now I'm using my rudder pedals to adjust speed. So I'm now going to turn off the autopilot. Flaps up. I'm going to turn my flight director off. My LS off. And bingo, we have performed an automatic landing. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you uh, using FastMC. Me personally, I'll be making another tutorial when the new version of FastMC comes out, uh, which I'm really looking forward to uh, when it happens. <laughs>